This is how I created my first short film in the Lighthouse video. I felt that it was important to introduce the characters in the beginning and set the tone for the short film. And also place some Easter eggs referring to the story. Such as the robot and the Pinocchio character. And a lighthouse for my latest release. The close-up shot of the boy is actually one of my favorite shots in the short film. If you look close you can see the reflection of the old man in the boy's eyes. I felt that it was important to establish the close and caring relationship between the old man and the little boy leading up to the tragedy. I actually recorded and performed all the music in the short film, and tried numerous melodies and instruments and ended up thinking that a simple piano was the best choice. Less is more so to say. I wrote this melody years and years ago, but I could never really find the perfect place for it. So when I sat down at my piano watching this scene this old melody was the first one I played. Fun fact. The sound effect for the rolling tennis ball is incorrect. The sound is clearly not a soft tennis ball, but a hard ball like the ones you use when you play pool. I didn't have a tennis ball when I did the sound design so you work with what you got. The name Sophia that appears in the book is actually the name of a real humanoid robot that mimics human behavior and feelings. When he turns the page you can see the name. Another Easter egg. The boy's shirt has the letter A on the front, just like my robot indicating the old man is building the robot and using the boy as inspiration. One of my favorite movies is Interstellar by Christopher Nolan, and I wanted to create a similar sound like the score Hans Zimmer did for Interstellar in this ending scene. Well that's it guys, what do you think will happen next in part 2 of the short film?